Turkey proposes new draft peace treaty to Zelensky and Putin. Novaya Gazeta, Europe media outlet, has learned of a proposed peace deal aimed at ending the war in Ukraine that has the backing of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and whose main points are on agreement to freeze the conflict and to refrain from using nuclear weapons. According to a source familiar with the proposal, Russia and Ukraine are both currently considering the draft text, which is based on initial negotiations carried out shortly after the war began in 2022. The peace plan would likely gain the support of a number of European politicians politicians and will also be proposed to countries in the global south, the source said. The draft treaty reportedly proposes the following. 1. A commitment by both the US and Russia not to use nuclear weapons under any circumstances and to resume the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, including a clause that would prohibit unilateral withdrawal from the treaty. 2. Non-interference in the internal affairs of another country in any way that could destabilize its government. 3. Freezing the war along the current front line. 4. A commitment to hold referendums in 2040, a national Ukrainian referendum on the country's foreign policy and referendums to be held under international supervision in all Ukrainian territories annexed by Russia at the time the conflict was frozen. 5. A guarantee that Ukraine remains non-aligned until 2040. 6. An exchange of all prisoners of war. 7. Russia not objecting to Ukraine joining the European Union. This is at least the ninth draft of its kind and it's unlikely that the last proposal will be adopted. The Ukrainian peace plan of 2022 had 10 points, a few of which overlap with the Turkish plan and that included an obligation for Russian troops to withdraw from Ukraine and steps to formalize the end of the war. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky set two main conditions for peace in 2023, the return of Ukraine's territory to its 1991 borders and the withdrawal of Russian troops including the Black Sea Fleet from Ukrainian territory. Starlink against Ukraine U.S. publication revealed how the black market works in Russia. Starlink internal terminals developed by Elon Musk's SpaceX can be purchased in the Russian Federation despite sanctions. One of the sellers noted that the main buyers of the terminals are Russian volunteers who supply their troops who are waging a genocidal war against Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal writes that Moscow seller Oleg said that most of his orders come from the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. On the battlefields of Ukraine, Starlink provides instant and largely secure internal access. In addition to solving the age-old problem of effective communication between troops on their commanders, Starlink enables the control of drones and other advanced technologies that have become a critical part of modern warfare. The company has the ability to restrict access to Starlink through geo-sensing, making the service unavailable in certain countries and locations, as well as the ability to deactivate individual devices. Russia and China do not allow the use of Starlink technology because it could undermine government control over information. Musk stated that to his knowledge, no terminals have been sold directly or indirectly to Russia and that the terminals will not operate in Russia. The journalist's investigation revealed that there is a supply chain for Starlink hardware through which backroom deals are carried out in Africa, Southeast Asia and the United Arab Emirates, resulting in thousands of devices falling into the hands of some US enemies and war criminals, including Russian soldiers. Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy, John Plum, said that SpaceX is working with Ukraine to stop the Russians from using the terminals at the front. Moscow troops often did not have the necessary equipment to communicate with their commanders. Russia was trying to introduce new devices that were just entering production at the start of the invasion, but it was difficult for her to implement them on the required scale and technical problems constantly arose. As a result, the Russians were never able to create a reliable, interoperable communication system to conduct complex operations. What's driving the use of Starlink is the need to have secure communications from the tactical edge of operations to headquarters, as well as a secure communication system that can be used to control drones, said Thomas Withington, an associate fellow on security issues at the Royal United Services Institute of the UK. More German troops arrive near Russian border, Moscow considers this mission as a threat.
Germany has sent an advanced military team to Lithuania as part of plans for a full-strength armor brigade permanently stationed in the Baltic state which borders Russia. Moscow has described the mission as a threat that requires special measures in response. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius was among those to see off 21 military service members and civilian employees who departed from Berlin to Vilnius. The minister praised the Bundeswehr deployment as a clear signal of solidarity with Germany's fellow NATO member. The Lithuanian Brigade, or Panzer Brigade 45, is set to include some 4,800 soldiers and 200 civilian employees by the time it becomes fully operational in 2027. It will be hosted at the Rudninkai training ground in the southeast of the country as well as near the town of Rukla. Some German troops will be located just 20 kilometers from the border with Belarus, a key Russian ally. Lithuania also borders the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. Lithuania, which has for years been upgrading the infrastructure needed to house foreign troops, has described the German deployment as historic. The arrival of the advance team four months after the roadmap for the permanent mission was signed heralds a new page of deeper Lithuanian-German partnership Defense Minister Lorinas Kasionas declared as he welcomed the troops. Vilnius has touted the German force as a deterrent against Russia, although Moscow perceives it as yet more evidence that NATO is encroaching on its borders. This continues an escalation of tension, the creation of hotspots of threats to us at our borders, which will certainly require special measures to ensure our security. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said, Moscow has accused Washington of ignoring its concerns over NATO enlargement in Europe, which was done in breach of promises made to the Soviet leadership when it agreed to German unification in the early 1990s. Since 2017, German troops have been part of enhanced forward presence battle group Lithuania, a multinational 1,700-strong force stationed in Rukla.